Hello wonderful people, Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel and today I'm going to be doing a live review of the new track from Skrillex, Forte and Stara Butterflies. I'm going to keep this introduction quite short because I want to get this video up ASAP but yeah here we go, new music from Skrillex, the Skrillmeister, Skrillboy. Skrilly, who is slated to drop quite a lot this year, albums, collaborations and all sorts from seemingly every walk of music life. But here we are, kicking off his 2021 with this new single, Butterflies, alongside fellow electronic legend Fortet and vocalist Stara. Will this be on some kind of album in the future? No idea at this point. I think, you know, some of you might have figured it out by now, you know, it's been out a couple of hours, but anyway, I don't have any idea by now, but yeah, regardless, looking forward to it, and hearing it here for the first time, gonna play it a couple of times, and provide comment along the way. No more faffing around, uh, let's go. Mm. That good Mr. Big Power. Ooh, okay, okay. A slight bop, you know. Mm. Yeah, that little motif, that little vocal motif, lovely, loving that. The idea is quite, quite stripped back, but there's a lot going on there. The layering, sensational. very pleasant isn't it like just feels lovely the vibe Ooh. yeah I mean that's just very pleasant isn't it I mean feels to me if anything like a continuation of the poppy house style that Skrillex has been going for you know last couple of years or so and yeah, it just feels like a continuation of that. Thinking about tracks like Would You Ever and Midnight Hour uh, from last year. And yeah, this just feels like he's going in a distinct direction at this point. You know, I don't think he's ever going to be one to stick with one genre, you know, maybe at the beginning of his career. But yeah, he's never really been one to just be about one style of music, if you get me. And so I doubt that he'll just make this kind of poppy house style, the central focus of, you know, what he's doing going forward. But he could, you know, he always could, but I doubt that he will, yeah, just make it, you know, the thing that everything else is framed around, if you know what I mean. But there is a pattern, you know, for me, there is an undeniable pattern. Club oriented, I think, compared to what he did in the earlier part of his career. And uh, yeah, it's lovely. I mean, just so nice to hear him make stuff that is a bit more, you know, radio friendly and accessible and stuff which uh, more people feel like they can hear, if you know what I mean. And that is very much achieved here on this tune. You got the pounding house beat, the production across the board, fantastic, pristine, immaculate, just so, so refined and sharp and yeah, just has a very squeaky clean kind of delivery to it. And the design is mad, you know, even though it's not going overboard here with the ideas this tune. It's quite stripped back, as I mentioned earlier. The, the power of it, I think, comes in the production and just how tight it is in the execution. Very good on that front. And the vocal, I think, fitted it really well, gave it a kind of attitude, but also a kind of emotion. You know, there was a vocal motif laced through the tune that I really enjoyed and gave it a bit of a, a, bit of a solemn feel in amidst the more uplifting stuff. So, uh, yeah, I mean, not much else to say if I'm being honest and that is why in these kinds of videos I do like to hear the track again just in case there's anything that I um, that I missed out which I'm going to be doing in a second but yeah for now you know coming across for the most part as just a pretty clubby housey poppy kind of number where all the elements are working the idea is not doing that much but it's just a very good vibe it's pretty it's pretty glorious as well in its delivery and just the sheen of it. One that I think will grow on me a lot as I get used to 
the musicality of it, which is fantastic, and the relationship between the instrumental and vocal, which is a good one. And yeah, I can imagine I will just enjoy it more as I hear it again. And I am going to hear it again for a second time right now. And yeah, hopefully I can spot a load more things about it that I'm loving. Nice first listen, now for the second. Let's go. That, beautiful, very nostalgic in feel. And that shimmering quality is just sumptuous. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna like this one a lot when I hear it again and again. I can feel that, the emotion of it, strong. That, that, oh, that is just, oh. Oi, 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 fuck me, man. Oi. Dreamy. This bit's a bit odd. If I could fault it in any way, I think this bit is a little bit odd. Like, this little final 15 seconds or whatever, just out of nowhere. And I think it could have cut off at that point. You know, structurally here, this tune, Butterflies, is a bit odd uh, when I hear it again. And again, not necessarily in a bad way. I think it's just quite unique in that, you know, it doesn't follow the strict uh, verse, chorus, verse, chorus kind of thing. It feels a bit muddled, but I quite like that. It gives it a bit of a, a unique flavor and keeps you guessing a bit. But yeah, that outro, you know, on that structural point, the point of structure, it does just, yeah, just feels a bit out of place and like maybe a bit unnecessary at the end. You know, some might say it's a nice way of maybe providing a bit of a reflective moment at the end, just to kind of look back on the track that we've had before, the preceding sections and whatnot. But yeah, to me, does just maybe feel on the surface there just a bit superfluous when it could have ended before that section at that point with the dreaminess of the introduction coming again at the end, you know, the track coming full circle in a way and just giving it that nice sense of completion, if you know what I mean. The main thing that I take away from it is just the musicality is unreal, front to back. The introduction, the little vocal motifs, the mini steel drum kind of sounds near the end, which were just, I mean the production, they just, they shine so much, like so colourful, so defined in their execution, it just sounds incredible. So fresh and vibrant and radiant. You know, I've got this far without mentioning Fortet much, but his influence, the more kind of chilled and low key approach, I think definitely felt here as well, in amidst the more punchy, uh, delivery that we get from Skrillex with the percussion and drums. And like Fortet, don't want to forget Stara here, whose part in this tune is similarly impactful. Yeah, just dreamy, but also a lot of attitude behind it at points. And that contrast, not quite knowing what you're going to get at each point from her being, yeah, very good. And the unpredictability of it with the different kinds of energy that she is supplying here being very good, so for what it is and everything it does do, I think working. So uh, yeah, that would be my thoughts, my initial thoughts and reaction to this new tune, Butterflies from Skrillex, Fortet and Stara. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, but now I wanna hear from you. What do you guys make of Butterflies? Do you enjoy it overall? Where does it rank in the recent Skrillex discography for you? How big a part did Forte and Stara play and did they support Skrillex's style well here? And uh, yeah, any parts of it in particular that you enjoyed? Drop all of your views, thoughts and comments in the comments section down below. Beyond that, subscribe if you're yet to and hit the bell along the way and my social media accounts and Discord are linked below as well as the Naughty Step Patreon page and the new Naughty Step Twitch channel. So yeah, if you want to help the channel grow, reach its full potential, all of that, then check out those links below and get involved. But yeah, keep it naughty everyone. If it's naughty, then you know, and I shall see all of you legends in the next one. Peace.